What's up people, it's your boy Drippy, owner of Drippy Visuals and we specialise in music video. I'm gonna talk about five things you should have which will help you shoot better videos. And yeah, I got my afro out today, enjoying my focus. So the first thing I wanna talk about is lighting. As much as the camera you use matters, 4K, 6K, 2K, all that shit, lighting is gonna help take your game to the next level. If you add your own lights, you can light the environment to how you want it. Create your own lighting scenario that fits you in the music video you're shooting. An external monitor. Now, you don't really need this, but it's helped me improve my um, composition for shooting. And the reason it has is because it's a larger screen, so I'm able to see more and then on the back of my screen. Also, I can load lots into this and I can put the lots on here so I can see what I look like in post. Sometimes you can tell who uses it and who doesn't because sometimes you see people with horrible composition. The artist is here, but the camera's off right, I ain't right. The next important thing I'd recommend you guys get will be an ND filter. And if you're a running gun shooter like me, a variable ND filter. So what ND filter basically is, it's like sunglasses for your camera. A variable ND filter is really good at regulating the light that can actually come through your lens. So by twisting it and making it dark, Okay, you're cutting off the light that can go into the lens allowing you to shoot at a higher aperture So I was just editing the video and I thought I could explain ND filters a bit better So when you put on the ND filter it cuts the amount of light that's going to be able to come through your lens Allowing you to control your exposure without having to compromise your settings you already have So let's say you're shooting on a sunny day and you're shooting at 24 frames per second At 150 of shutter speed and your aperture is open to 1.4 You're really trying to get that bokeh But it's overexposed because you're shooting on a sunny day You can increase your aperture but then you'll lose the blurry background you can crank up your shutter speed, but then you'll be losing the natural motion blur you get with your movement. So the best thing you can do is put ND filter on top of your lens. Let's get back into the video. A speaker. Now you're shooting music videos, you're not always going to have access to power outlets. You're going to need a speaker. And if you've got a nice loud port portable speaker, the artist is going to be able to rap along to their music. I'm not going to stay on it too tough, but the one I use is the Sony BX22. It's worked well for me, it's quite loud and it's waterproof, so I'd recommend getting this. Now a motorized gimbal is great for stabilizing your footage on the move. It's going to help you get silky smooth shots and it's going to help you stabilize your footage on the go. As much as I love tripod shots and handheld, sometimes you've got to throw a gimbal shot in there to I just add some movement and variation to your shots. I use the Zion Crane too, it works for me. It's not too expensive, it's cost effective, it does what it does. I know there's better ones out there, but a motherfucker has to finesse until I get that paper. This is kind of a bonus one. You don't really need a drone, but I find when sometimes you feel lazy, you want to get some establishing shots to start a music video, this is an easy way to do it. You just put it in the sky and there you go, you got a quick five second intro where you don't have to worry about what you're going to put in. This drone works really well. This is the DJI Maverick Mini I've spoken about before. It's just good for getting aerial shots. It's just going to help your production quality go up, so it's just a bonus one, man. Uh, the next one you can't really see because it's on it is a tripod. As much as everyone loves gimbal shots nowadays, I think if you get a nice tripod shot, it really helps break away from the image. It's also good for when you want to do clone shots or when you just put the camera on the tripod, you keep it in the same place and you get an artist to perform in different spots many times and you put it in post and you layer it on top of each other, then you got a clone shot. It's been a quick video. I'm not gonna lie to you, with this channel, when I first started, I thought, I don't wanna be another one of these motherfuckers that are out here blogging out my video when it's real simple. I'm just gonna tell you what I recommend and why. There's, there's another hundred other motherfuckers telling you the same shit as me. 50 minute video so I thought let me cut the shit and make it nice and short and sweet make sure you follow me on Instagram at drippy visuals underscore just to stay up to date with what I'm doing I post all my new work on there and that's it thanks for watching